Hey Exiles, how we doing? We are back, finally playing some more Saga of Survival, guys. How we doing? It's been a while, apologies in advance. Um, been trying out a few other games, so I really wanted to get back into Saga. I haven't forgotten you guys, I do apologize. I know I get a lot of questions asking where have I been. Um, I haven't left, I'm still on the scene. I'm back with a video today, so this is going to be an informative video um, in regards to XP challenge and um, providing you guys absolutely all the information that I can find that hopefully will be useful for you guys. So this is what I want to sort of show you guys today. So be before I do, quick disclaimer for you guys. Now, the images I'm going to show you, the information that I'm going to talk to you about today, I take absolutely zero credit for. These are for the hardworking people that have provided this information through the Discord server, uh, through the wiki page, and there have been some people on the global community Facebook page for Saga of Survival. So credit goes out to them. I'm going to try and link people's details um, who posted this. So credits go to them, not myself. I just want to get to get that out of the way. So. XP challenge. So I've done this a couple of times before in the past, but I didn't really give you proper information. So today's that day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my guy down on well, my phone that is, and I'm going to let my guy run a bit of auto action. And I'm going to go through a couple of things to give you guys some info and what I'm sort of trying to get my, um, my point across. So the XP challenge, it's always a tricky challenge because we don't know exactly what to potentially invest in or what should we be attentioning our time for. So whether this be a um, information guide for you guys now through your current XP challenge, if you're um, doing this right now as we speak, or do you guys want to sort of hold back and try and put more resources into the next XP challenge. So that's where I, um, this comes into play and hopefully you guys take this with um, uh, more info by the end of this video. So that's what I'm hoping to get. That's my aim. Okay, so let's get into it. So there's a few tables. It's um, it's an Excel spreadsheet and we've got quite a number of bits and pieces going on. So I'm going to throw up the first image on the screen, hopefully about now. Right, so what we're looking at here is a general overview of the actual um, listing for what you guys would use to craft okay so this is all to do with your workstations what the um what each individual item will gain you in terms of exp so hopefully this gives you a decent amount of um uh i don't know more of an overview and this hopefully should give you a better indication what type of xp that you guys are going to get what to expect and what do you guys rather put your time and efforts into? So hopefully this will give you a bit of a leg up, probably in next um, or upcoming XP challenge. If you want to start now, you start now. Try and make what you can get, try and do the best that you can. So if you guys look at it, you guys have got a lot of things um, here. So um, starting from the left, you've got the resource gathering guide. Um, just all the basic bits and pieces. And then a little bit under under that, you've got the um, hunting EXP for your general um, animals. So this may not cover everyone. So, um, you know, disclaimer on that, it may not be a complete concise guide. So hopefully this is something better than what, what we didn't have in the first place. So hopefully you guys are appreciative of that. And then when you sort of look at um, over it, you can actually see the chests and how much XP that it does uh, that provides back to you for opening these chests. So hopefully you find that a little bit on the interesting side for that. And then you get into the workstation crafting EXP. So specific workstations, things like that. Now this is for um, materials, okay? So what you put into the workstation, what you want to create out of it. So whether it be wood for planks, uh, stone for stone blocks, um, you, you, you get what I'm trying to say. So. Um, and then finally at the bottom, you've got the crafting EXP. Now this is predominantly for your armor and what type of level armor that might be. Um, now, unfortunately it doesn't tell you exactly what that would sort of entail, unfortunately. So you sort of got to have to take it 
um, as, as you see it on face value, okay? So um, as, as best as we can, I guess, at the end of the day. So hopefully that sort of gives you a, a bit of a rough expectation and what you should, you know, should hopefully um, be expecting to get. And finally from there, this is the building and traps um, little Excel spread guide. Um, take a look at it guys. If you need to actually um, pause the video, do what you need to do, pause the video. Hopefully this, you know, this would um, receive you guys well. Um, but as I said, um, I'll put some links into the description. Hopefully I can get some out there to, um, you know, whilst I'm processing the video and um, take a look through the Discord server. Uh, it's through the wiki page, so you do need to do a bit of scrolling and searching. Um, that's what I had to do before I, I got these images onto the screen. And hopefully you guys will um, uh, take note for the info that's provided. So <clears throat> with that, you do get um, a few of the guys through the server there just discussing it as well. So do take some time and read it. There might be some things that have ad been added through their replies that may not be reflective on this. So um, yeah, just need you guys to sort of take that into sort of uh, consideration. Okay, so I'm just opening up a couple of chests anyway as I'm going through while I'm talking to you guys. Um, hopefully I can multitask good enough to um, do what I need to do. And I'm going to move over to another image and this is going to be another interesting um, uh, item as well that I wanted to sort of show you. So now this is, this is by no means a concise or um, a template that you should really be looking at. And what I mean by that predominantly is that you guys got to sort of, um, you know, have that expectation that some of these um, stations are a little bit different. So I'm going to throw up this image now onto the screen. And what we're looking at is a guide to upgrading your workstations. Now, this is only um, an example of the, um, of the carpenter's bench. So we've got it from start to maximum um, upgradability and what type of EXP that gives you. So if you, again, guys, take a look at it, um, pause the video if you need to, take as long as you need it, um, but also um, refer back to the Discord server. And hopefully this gives you a better illustrative guide on what you guys should be looking at. And hopefully this gives you um, probably more of a pathway, I would hope to um you know to use and at least this gives you you know a, a better way to um hopefully run the xp ch challenge there i know i know there's a lot of you guys out there that do um or have um great success during these xp challenges or you might be involved in a clan that does give you um that sort of um you know support and they give you all the information that I'm probably providing to you right now. But um, for those that don't have that information or, you know, have ever wondered why is this team or why does this individual in my team, you know, rack up so much AXP, they may not be using this specific guide or anything of that nature, but they might be using something that's very close. And at least this gives you a, a bit of a better understanding, I hope. And as I said, this is only the carpenter's bench. So whether this be, would be reflective to all the other workstations, I'm not entirely sure, but I would like to think that this will give you um, a, a decent template to sort of work on and gives you a, a good expectation. So um, at least, you know, by looking at the Carpenter's Bench um, upgrade path, at least you sort of get a better understanding of what type of items that you might want to need to use. And obviously you, you want to try and pre-get these materials before the XP challenge starts so you can actually get a leg up on the um, on the countdowns of the uh, the event itself. So that's what I'm sort of trying to help you out with, guys. So hopefully you find this a little bit more informative, a little bit different to the videos that I've done in the past as well. And I hope you guys, you know, really enjoyed this style of video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about this down in the comment section down below. Is this something that you, you guys are more interested in seeing in some of my videos? I mean, it's not something that I really had uh, predominantly put too much time and effort into it. And I hope you guys sort of appreciate that. And if you guys want to sort of um, see more videos, 
I'm actually going to do another video on the Battle Thong. And hopefully you guys will take a look at that as well in an up upcoming video. And I'll, I'll explain what, you know, how the Battle Thong works. I don't know how long we're going to do the video for. It might be just a quick little video and hopefully you guys, you know, will appreciate it, I guess. Um, but like I said, let me know what you think in the comments section. Uh, but also let me know how do you guys prepare for this type of challenge. Um, do you guys have a certain um, uh, way of doing it, commencing it? Um, what are you guys investing in um, your time and efforts throughout the week? Do you guys participate all in all the other battle, um, sorry, events, I should say? Do you guys focus on every single event that come your way or do you reserve everything until you go into the EXP challenge? Uh, let me know what you guys are doing down in the comment section down below. And yeah, we'll make a discussion out of it. Why not? So yeah, XP challenge guys. It's always a curly one because you don't know what you're gonna get. And when you sort of, when it's sort of time to start doing it, it's always at random. So yeah, I find that it's good, it's bad at the same time. And I don't know, it's one of those events where people, um, and including myself, sort of crying out for more or a little bit more diversity in the EXP challenge or any of the event challenges for that matter. Oops. So, you know, we want to get different armor, different type of weaponry, uh, weaponry, I should say, really sorry. You know what I think, and what I think would be a good idea, and, you know, for the most part, you do get a lot of armor through this EXP challenge, so, which is fine, but, also annoying at the same time because you're not getting new items and it's always the same over and over again and that's what I feel that's a bit annoying and I'm sure you guys are a little bit more you know get a bit frustrated with that as well at the same time so um, a suggestion to the devs and if the devs are, the watch, are watching my video fantastic thank you very much um, but why not use the AXP challenge for a range of weapons so Instead of just armor, you know, the the amount of armor that we get are essentially five pieces. So, you know, you've got your, let's just crouch for a sec. So, well, I've lost my gauntlets, but you've got your gauntlets, you've got your um, your headwear, you've got your, um, your body wear here, so that will be your top and bottom, and then you've got your pants. So in, instead of, armor why not give us five different random uh, weapons and same same principle non-star one star two star three star legendary why can't we do that I think that would be a really good idea you know mix it up and something that we haven't had before in the past so I think that would be a really good idea and then you probably want to mix it up and say like the battle thon or the food challenge, whatever it might be, and you know, swap it over with, um, you know, whether it be hard to get materials. You know, let's say we talk about elm. We talk about, I don't know, if you guys are wanting to get brimstone, or if you guys want to get, you know, steel bars, uh, maybe clay bars. You know, I, I know that's a pain to sort of craft um, and manufacture. So that's that's probably something that I would go for, to be honest with you. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's, you know, that's something that I'll be interested in, um, in hearing from you guys. And yeah, I mean, look, you know, hopefully this reaches the devs and that might be a good suggestion. Hopefully they might do it in an upcoming update. Um, hopefully, you know, they might turn around and put it in 1.14, who knows? Um, but that's something that I would really like to see. Something completely different, you know, out of the ordinary. And yeah, hopefully that sort of gets people excited again doing event challenges but from what I've seen you know it's not as um, full-on as it has been in the past you know I'm, I'm sure other got other people would probably suggest differently to that and I guess that's probably something you know that's always up for debate so you know it's not going to be um, on everyone's sort of uh, radar or that they think exactly the same way as myself so Again, this is a complete unbiased opinion of the matter. I think it, it'd be a really good idea for everyone to sort of have a, a, a different style of, um, you know, rewards. So, 
you know, why not throw a bunch of weapons in, you know, five at most, and go through the motions. So you got your one star, your two star, three star, legendary. Why not? You know, th there are some decent items out there, so I'm going to emphasize that now. Let's go into my vault. So you've got, you know, the scimitar, the uh, uh, crawl sec, if I've pronounced that correctly. So I've got a, a non-star, a one-star. Um, giant fang, I've never seen that anywhere else. Uh, long bow of Dana, raider's crossbow, you know, the short trident, the throwing axes, the throwing knives, twin axes, you guys get my point, okay? So why not? Let's just get something like that involved, you know, you know whether or not be, you know, in the next couple of weeks, why not try and do it in an upcoming um, update? You know, it may not be 1.14, it might be 1.15, who knows? So that's something I really want to sort of throw out to the devs as a suggestion. I will make that as a suggestion in the uh, request page. It may have already been covered, who knows? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this type of video, um, showing some images about the um, EXP expectations, what you should be looking at and getting. Um, depending on what you guys are crafting and what you guys are really going for. So hopefully you guys use that. Like I said, I'll try my best and put some of that information into my description. And um, yeah, guys, go over to the Discord, check it out, and um, hopefully you guys take um, you know some advantage out of that. Anyway, I'm going to catch you guys in another video. It might be the Battlethon um, you know, EXP info and what to expect out of that. It might be a different video. I'm not too sure yet. But... I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.